happy Friday. I hope wherever you are that you and your loved ones are safe and well, that you're having a good week and a good day. I just wanted to come on really quick and you know, talk to you about what's been going on this week um, before I just completely divert uh, on Sunday for my birthday vlog, um, which I'm excited about. But um, I, it's been an interesting left week. And by that, I mean, there's been so much happening on my left side that it's, it's slightly freaking me out, but I mean, I'm okay. So, um, what was first? Okay. Well, Monday morning I woke up or my husband woke me up before he left for work. And he said that I was sleeping on my left side and I had my left arm pretty well tucked under my head, which is normal. I sleep like that sometimes. Um, and so when I woke up, I had different feeling in, uh, my fingertips, um, but especially my middle finger on my left hand. And so I still don't have full feeling in my left middle finger. So I saw my doctor on Tuesday morning and I told him about it and he said just to watch it, you know, see what's happening. And so I was like, I don't like it. Um, but it's odd. It's like, um, if you've been with the blog for a while, you know that like 2018 2019 Thanksgiving I was making homemade stuffing as we do every year and I was chopping vegetables with our um, ninja food processor food processor chopper and I went to wash it <laughs> and I don't know what I did I just grabbed the blade and so I was like ah. but I, I really I still have the scar I sliced up this finger like right here and had to go to get stitches and everything and they had to anesthetize it obviously and so they did these needles i'm going somewhere with this they did these needles inside the fingertip and they were little needles they hurt like a bleep but they were effective because i didn't feel anything at that point um but that's what it feels like it feels like i was anesthetized here so anyway so uh, my doctor backed up what the two nurse practitioners in the practice had said that he didn't feel that my allergic response was related to the medication. He thought it was something else, but he wanted me to see the dermatologist who I saw yesterday, which I was doing anyway, because this was too weird. Um, so no feeling like not normal feeling in my left middle finger. Um, on Monday night, I was sitting talking to my husband and my daughter, and I just happened to go like that with my earlobe, and I don't know if you can see that. I must have had some sort of a blister on my earlobe, because then it popped immediately, and I was like, why is my, what is happening? And this is gross. I'm sorry. It just happened. It was just clear fluid, but I was like, what is happening? Also, the rash has completely re-flared on my left arm, and it's really bad right now on my neck. Now, I think this is partially sun related because I couldn't wear sunscreen to the dermatologist yesterday because I didn't want anything to be colored by what I might, because I was already itchy. I didn't want to like react more because of that and, and skew the results of the, whatever the exam. So the dermatologist was really cool. I hadn't met her before. I had seen her husband, um, her late husband years ago, and he was just an amazing doctor. Um, I think I talked about him in last week's video, but um, or the blog, but he. Um, so I saw her this time, and she said that she doesn't know what that guy at the walk-in clinic was thinking. But I need to forget everything he said because no, she does not feel it was medication at all. She said if it was medication, the normal response is like you get a rash on your stomach, your chest, your face, your neck, which is what has happened to me in the past. That did not happen. It was just my arms, and so she really feels that it could have been the sunscreen that we had started a couple of weeks before. And she said, I just might've been building up this huge response to it. Um, Cause I really only put it on my arms and I don't think I put it on my neck though. That's the one catch. I had the rash on the back of my neck and now the front of my neck, I never put sunscreen on. I used my, um, I use a different sunscreen on my face that is the, from the same company my moisturizer and my makeup are from because I have very sensitive skin. We know this. Um, and so I don't, I don't mess around with that. And so I used, um, I always use like SPF 50 on my face from that company. And so I want to also say what she said I had, she gave it a fancy name. I have positive dermatographism, which is basically like very sensitive skin. And what she did was she kind of dragged her thumb, her gloved thumb down my arm and it immediately like raised up red. And she said that that is a positive sign for Dramatograph is dramatic, what is it? dramatographism. Um, and so 
Yeah, so she said, my skin is very sensitive. I need to really test new things. Oh, she also said, I don't know if I mentioned that I had eaten that crumble cookie. She doesn't want me to eat them anymore. She said, maybe it was the crumble cookie. And I was like, no, I had only ever had one. And it was so good. And I wish I could remember exactly which one it was. because It was so good. Um, but she feels it was something either in my environment, something I ingested, something that I touched. Um, and we use only like, like free and clear detergent and things like that. Um, soaps that are very mild that aren't going to, because everybody has sensitive skin and, and you know, I, I don't want to risk people reacting with laundry and stuff. So we use really basic stuff, nothing with dyes, everything's clear. Um, and so, uh, so she said she feels strongly. I have to stop using that sunscreen. She recommended a different one. Um, that's a little harder to get, but I'll, I'll do it. And, um, you know, she said she wants me to wear sunscreen, but I have to wear a hat, which I already do. And, um, and just, you know, monitor it. And she's not sure that, I, that my reaction to that Benadryl was a true allergic response. She feels that I was having a massive allergic reaction to whatever it was in the environment that did it. And that the Benadryl may have, you know, been just wrong place, wrong time, but I'm not sure about that. I mean, I trust her at all, but like it was within an hour of taking that Benadryl. So we shall see. So she recommended, because of, because of my history of eczema, um, she recommended a medication that I need to put on during the day and then at night. So that had to be ordered because um, they're, they're not just readily available, which is really fun. Um, and she recommended something else. Oh, and she said maybe down the line, if I keep responding like this, I may have to go to an allergist and get like just straight up allergy tested and then we'll see what happens. So I was like, let's start small and work our way to the really highway to the danger zone stuff. But what else is new? I got my new glasses this week. So these are my new progressives. And if you are a person that wears glasses, you know that when you switch prescriptions or you get progressives or things like that, or any anytime you get new glasses, you need to give yourself time with them because especially as somebody with migraines, I, I tend to get headaches when I have new glasses and I'm trying so hard not to scratch. Um, it's very hard. Um, and so I, I had a headache earlier in the week. I picked these up on Tuesday. I, I did like a lunatic. I think I walked 8.2 miles on Tuesday and I don't know why. Um, I don't know why I did it. I think I had, cause I had so much to do Tuesday that I was like, I had a crack of dawn appointment with my doctor and then I had to go pick up my medicine from the pharmacy. And so I was like, well, the glasses place isn't far from the pharmacy, so let's just get everything done. And then well, by the time I got home, my daughter was like, you did like 14 things in, in, a, you know, in a few hours. I was home by like 12.30, so it was like, I did a lot. But these are my readers. I'll show you what they are. I'm getting used to wearing them because I, I feel like I, I really like, oh, wow. You can't really look around with them. They're really meant for just like, this close so I am trying not to look around too hard because it's like ooh, but I love them the color is really cool um, it does make a huge difference I forgot and when she had me try them on when when she gave them to me she said um, I'm sorry I'm trying I gotta take them off because it's gonna blow my eyes out um, she said that um, there we go um, she said I looked up and I went oh no they're really blurry and she said no they're supposed to be blurry for around the room they're really meant for just to the length of the end of your arm because that's it's supposed to um, magnify reading and she said that I'm supposed to use them when I use my phone if I'm reading if I'm writing on my phone if I'm reading a book whatever um, so I'm trying to get used to doing that and my I got prescription sunglasses but they're in my, my bag so I'm not gonna take those out but um because I did an updated prescription on those so it's I I it's like we go to Warby Parker and they you know Thank goodness our insurance is accepted. But even like I was able to get, I was only going to get the readers and the progressives. And then I realized um, it gave me a deal because it was like, with, if you buy the two. So I ended up getting three, which would have been, which ended up being less than the cost of what two would have been. I, math. I don't know. So I ended up getting all three. So I was like, all right, I'll, if it needs to be updated, I'll do it. And so I did. And I'm glad I did it because now I'll have these for a few years. And um, not quite as long as I take care of them. And, um, but I love this. This is like a floral pattern, and I, I wanted these so badly from two years ago, but it, I already last year, but it wasn't time to get the new glasses yet, so I was like, ah, so I waited, and they rotate their line all the time, and so, um, anyway, 
I got them. And so what else? Um, yeah, so it was a weird left kind of, oh, and my sacroiliac joint on my left side was really kicking off on Wednesday. Um, we were in the city. I feel like I've spent more time in Manhattan this week than I have in months. Um, but, you know, this is me jamming every doctor's appointment for everybody in the family all at once. It's like, I'm going to be really efficient. And now that it's happening, I just was sitting on the train on Tuesday, like, why did I do this to myself? Um, you know, my pain management doctor can't be avoided because I have to see him every month. Um, but like dermatology, well, dermatology couldn't either, but like dentists, you know, orthodontists, you know, GYN exam, you know, I had something else. Even my hematologist, like I was just like, throw it all into July. Um, but, you know, hopefully this will kick off 51, which is happening Sunday, um, in a good way. And hopefully this will all stop because this is weird. This is weird. I don't eat a lot of new things. Now I'm like questioning what's in everything, unless I make it myself. Um, you know, I don't know. I don't know. Who knows? But it wasn't the med. She said I would have reacted immediately, which I agree with. Um, and it wasn't, um, maybe it wasn't the crumble cookie. Maybe I need for science to try that cookie again, just to be on the safe side. Because they were so good. Um, but anyway, that's what's happening. It was a weird, weird, weird week. And what did I do today? I'm like, I look like I'm, I, I'm sweating because I am, because I baked today. We came home um, from Manhattan and I decided to bake scones because I had a hankering for scones. And so that's what I did. So it's like, the oven was at 425 and I was like, <laughs> but it was worth it. Scones are delicious. Um, but anyway, so that's what's happening. I hope wherever you are that you have a low pain, no pain, low aggravation, no aggravation kind of a day, kind of a week, and kind of a weekend to come. That's what we hope for. That's what we deserve. That is what I truly wish for each and every one of you. Uh, keep a good thought that this all stops because it's really annoying. And um, and I, as always, am keeping a good thought for all of I'm trying not to scratch, especially around my tattoo. Stop. Um, I'm always wishing good things for all of you, and I'm so grateful that you're with me on this journey. I will see you over the weekend for the vlog, next week for everything. Take care. Have a good night. Bye.